this year, you know, um, everything that is hot, is, a lot of people are coming in, they want native perennials, um, native grasses, native shrubs, um, and even native trees, you know, so we're kind of rethinking some of the options for a landscape, adding more natives. Um, you know, we have all kinds of challenges with climate, um, going back and forth, yo-yoing to hot and cold, wet and dry, mostly dry, so a lot of drought tolerant things. Um, fruit trees have been very hot, so uh, edibles, uh, a lot of people buying vegetables, so I think more people are kind of trying to grow vegetables at home. So one big one would be black petunias. We can never keep black petunias on the table. Uh, perennial wise, uh, uh, Husker Red Penstemon is a big one, and then Hardy Hibiscus we can never keep around. Uh, jalapenos, I think a lot of people are struggling to get jalapenos in. We grew, uh, I can't even remember what my grandpa said, a lot, a few hundred, and they're all gone already. So. so some of the things that we haven't had a lot of luck with this year has been kind of the small fruits. Uh, the smaller edibles like raspberries, blackberries. Um, there's always a demand for blueberries, although we're always like, eh, you know, maybe it's not the best option. We have service berry, which is very similar. So that's a really cool plant that great flowers, berries uh, in the summer, and then awesome fall color on that one. Definitely gonna have to watch your watering with your stuff outside for sure. As much rain as we keep getting, you don't want to keep it soaking wet, but you also don't want to say, oh, it rained and forget about it for four days and then it's going to be dead because you didn't water it. So that's one big one. Uh, with the amount of storms and wind and everything we keep getting, definitely if there's something covering, coming, you want to cover it. So most people haven't really had to water a whole lot. Um, so all the customers that come in are buying plants. Um, we are always talking about watering. We're still talking about watering. Um, when to water, when not to water. Don't overwater your plants. It's one of the biggest issues we face, um, be it trees or shrubs or perennials or anything. It's just giving them too much water. A uh, lot of trees and shrubs go to the newer parts of town, which are the new construction homes. So they're very heavy clay. You don't have to water quite as much there because the, the clay is so heavy, it holds a lot of water. 